So in India, we got 1.2 billion people. But the problem is that hardly 10% use the internet. So, you know, most of the people are still offline. So there is an opportunity that we are in largest in mobile numbers that we got more than 900 million mobile users in India. In 2008, me and my group of friends dropped out of college to create an application called SMS Gyan, by which you can get any information on the go without going online. W what we do is that we just uh, let the user can send any queries through SMS, and we scrap the entire internet, fetch for the right information, and send them back instantly. There are millions of queries happening every day. I'm just passing through few queries. It can be used as a scientific calculator on the go. People don't need to use the internet anymore. There are funny queries happening, like one customer asks, why is an angry bird angry? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, we replied back, you know, because the pigs stole their eggs, and that's why they are angry. And the customer was happy. <laughs> <laughs> now, for people who don't have the access to GPS, they still can use their normal phones to find the routes. By means, the point here is that you don't need to be owning a smartphone to become smart. <laughs> On a course of three years, we were able to answer 400 million queries to our 10 million customers all over the country. <laughs> and more important is the fact that we were able to download more than 50 gigabytes of information over through SMS. And the core vision lies in the fact we are giving internet to the non-internet world. One of the key things that we learn is learning from the emotions of a customer. In the case of school-going children, they started asking queries like uh, how to pass in an exam, or they start using the, uh, for the short code to get the exam results. And they started calling us as a guru. In other case, people started asking, especially teenage guys, started asking queries like how to impress a girl, which are the best pickup lines. <laughs> or even queries like how to go for a date, how to dress well, things like that. For them, Gyan act as a platform, as a friend. In small towns and villages, student communities, especially women, use as a tool to learn about sex. The, the good part is that because mobile is so private companion, we are giving a power to empower these masses so that they are not afraid to ask any questions to anymore and become shy. <laughs> Recently, we launched the same platform to the public so that more and more developers can create apps on top of a platform and empower masses. Some of the few things, some of the few apps that people build is like blood search on a particular city so that you can find the blood donor over the go on SMS. People can use their talk time to donate for a charity purpose. It seems like if you, gi if you give people easier way to communicate and find information, more good things can happen to the world. And I want to share this to the world. Thank you. <laughs>